yeah, so I'm happy that's happening in the next few weeks. I've got, a, I'm going to finish off the time that I'm at my present place and I'm going to move to my new place within the next few weeks, by the end of the month, actually. So that should be an interesting challenge. Talking about old workplaces, I'm not sure this news hasn't been out on the public. I'm not sure if I should be talking about this, but fuck yeah. Supposedly, I've heard that my old employee uh, mastered um, an online learning platform similar to a US company, a US company called Master, which I'm sure you might have seen on online. It's not to be confused. That company is called Mastered. The US company was called Master, um, but it's the same sort of uh, um, kind of idea. It's an online learning platform where you get to learn from key figures within the fashion industry, as opposed to Master, who kind of specializes in all different genres, from filmmaking to tennis. Uh, to cooking whereas on master it was mostly fashion based so mostly based on um i think they did a bit of menswear did a bit of fashion did a bit of sorry did a bit of menswear did a bit of makeup photography and other bits and bobs um it hasn't gone as well as they hoped hence why the company is shutting down i've heard that they've let go of most of the company and kept a quote-unquote skeleton uh company in order to kind of um deliver the last bits and bobs of the programs that they have available now at the moment and once those programs have ended there won't be any new enrollments for the new year and the company will cease to exist so it's complete it's really sad of course for me personally because i used to work there um it's a sad way to end the story i thought when it first started that it was a really great um idea i think it was a great proposition to kind of shake up the fashion industry i'm not into the whole disrupting disruptor thing because i think it's a little bit overused a little bit and a little bit um what you call it there's a little bit uh, uh over romanticized but i do think at the time it was launched and with the infatuation that the fashion industry has with the idea of students going to fashion schools and learning that way and the fact that there's been this big friction between um streetwear designers such as Virgil Abloh who are coming from an out the outside of fashion institutes or fashion um the quote-unquote traditional fashion education and coming in and leading storied or luxury fashion houses like Louis Vuitton and stuff whatever there's a big friction or conversation going on with that I think Master was a great was a great sort of like serves as a great platform to illustrate that serves as a great sort of beacon to show that yes there are people out there especially who live outside of the main of the main kind of cultural cities of the world like the new york london tokyo's and shit who want to participate in this fashion movement but don't have the means to don't have the means or the, the ability to go and move to another city but learning online especially um picking up various skills not learning entirely how to like cut and sew online or whatever it may be but learning the basics and then kind of taking that and applying that to the stuff that they're doing it's really advantageous especially if you can do it from the comfort of your own home or studio so it started off really well but i think by and large the kind of issue that they had which a lot of startups have in general is that a lot of their success or a lot sorry a lot of their a lot of masters um no the problem that most startups have i think in general is that they don't necessarily generate they don't actually make money right that's the problem they have they don't make money so they rely heavily on investment investments investing investment rounds are the way that they're able to keep the lights on pay their employees and ultimately pay the talent that they're going to hire or that they're going to, yeah, they're going to hire on their platform in order to kind of, you know, promote their product or promote their service. So because fundamentally startups don't actually make money and it's all just, a, it's all kind of, it's a bit like, um, it's all, a, it's all, a, it's all like a ploy. It's not a ploy, but it's all like a kind of a marketing scheme in a way. Right. You want to showcase your ability to kind of grow a company, quote unquote, um, to kind of deliver a product or a service. But unless the actual idea of making money like a small business doesn't really exist in startup land for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it's not a thing. So because of that, Mastered rely relied quite heavily on investment. I kind of was a bit dubious of the whole investment thing because you know there's a lot of celebration that happened when investment was secured the investment process itself having looked at some of the founders when they used to go and have meetings you could see the look on their face when they came back or when you saw them on a monday you could tell that this person had a slept for three days and they were up all night looking for investment it's a really really harrowing if you heard anyone speak about it, the process of trying to secure investment it's not fun it's not fun you know what i mean long fucking hours uh sending many many emails being on skype calls calling in general texting reaching out to people is very very emotionally and physically draining so that whole idea behind coming back and then saying oh we secured the bag we got this investment we can still have another year and whoopity whooping it and drinking champagne and prosecco i always thought it was a bit strange and i thought that was a wrong way to that's a wrong metric to to gauge if a company is being successful right the fact that you're able to secure investment again in order to pay wages sometimes our wages will get paid late i'm sure some of you startup people would know have worked in startups like that's kind of a general thing that happens in quite a lot of startups where cash flow isn't 
um, the best, right? So um, payment is always delayed and stuff, which is not good, right? If you're running a, a big business, you sh if you're running an actual functional business, that shouldn't, way, that shouldn't be the way things are happening or going on. But it's happened quite often. And in general, um, it just wasn't... It just didn't feel like they were gonna ever make money. The business, the business plan, or the the way the business was structured, just didn't, you know, it just didn't call for making money. But again, I didn't think it was gonna, you know, go under. I didn't think they were gonna cease to exist. I didn't think it would be that bad. But unfortunately, you know, um, it seems like the bubble's bursting on a lot of these companies. I'm hearing a lot of talk of rumors online of Snapchat is supposedly uh, close to coming to the to an end too. In that regard as well, do you know what I mean they're just burning through the money that they're, they're bit, that was invested in them or the money they raised when they went uh, public on the stock market. And I just think now we're kind of now reach in the same way, in the same way that you're seeing a move uh, away from conventional kind of like big ticket, um, really obvious um, one million plus followers influencers. Right, you're seeing a move away from that into people moving into more to the micro influencer land. Right, people with like followers from like 5,000 and below, right? Even lower, even kind of like 400, 500 followers, right? You're seeing a move away from those conventional people, brands going for those followers, they're going for micro followers, micro influencers, sorry. And you're seeing the same in business land where you're seeing all these companies that have been like, you know, um, running after investment, um, trying to go public as quickly as they can, raising, um, going on the stock market on the NASDAQ and doing that whole bell thing, right? You're seeing a move away from that and now, and it going towards like a uh, smaller kind of like, moving more towards the kind of small business platform, right? Like I'm, I'm a startup, I'm operating more like a small business where it's like, it's a team of, we could, we could, we could grow to a team of twenty, but we're gonna make you work with a team of ten. And then when we need twenty, we will grow to twenty. But we're not gonna do it just for the sake of it, just because of perception. We're not gonna to move to a brand spanking new office, a top floor, or some building, so we look like we're a success, right? We're gonna operate from this dormitory or from this garage for as long as we can, and then we'll move later. There's a there's an emphasis more on building actual business that makes money, right, as opposed to building a brand or something that looks shiny and crisp on social media but doesn't actually generate any cash, doesn't necessarily serve anyone, doesn't actually necessarily um, answer a question or fulfill a need, right? This thing can move away from that. So again, maybe Gary Vee was right, or Gary Vaynerchuk, maybe we're going to see the bubble burst on a lot of these startups that just kind of run around trying to raise an investment and sell their company to the highest bidder. Hopefully well, that will happen. And then hopefully the kind of, you know, realism can kind of come back into industry more and kids that are growing up and trying to become intro entrepreneurs can maybe reassess their ambitions and maybe say, you know what, I, do, I don't, you don't need to become an entrepreneur like Mark Zuckerberg. You don't need to make the, fa the next Facebook because you're probably not going to do that anyway. You should just try to service a need. You should try to look, look for opportunities to try and service a need and grow a business around that. A business, not a startup, an actual business that makes money, be able to pay your friends, do you know what I mean? That you work with or employees that you get in and that's it. That's basically what you should be able to do and try and repeat that, you know, go, try and repeat that year on, year out and try and grow incrementally little year on, year out. But that, that basically should be it. So hopefully with that, that might be a change. But again, um, RIP Mastered, um, you are gone but not forgotten.